Welcome, welcome. Hey. Hey, welcome to chat, everybody. If anybody's here yet, I don't think anybody's here yet. So I should probably wait a minute. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jerry. It's good to see everybody. I'm looking down at my phone, but I guess I don't have to now. I can see it right there. Hi, Kim. Everybody, everybody having a good weekend? Can y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good, Kim. I am, too. I got the house to myself for the next three days, so this is going to be nice. I'm going to be lazy. And, Jerry, it's raining here, too. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. Oh, so I should wait a few minutes, Kim, before I answer questions? I got you. I don't know how that works. We'll get through it. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Welcome to chat. Today's just going to be a... Uh... I don't know. We're all just going to chit-chat. You guys can ask me questions. I may answer some. I may not answer some. I definitely will answer some, but there's some that I won't touch. But I'm sure those who know me won't ask questions like that. But I have my wonderful mods to take care of that for me. Hey, Sapphire. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. So we can talk about whatever anybody wants to talk about. I'm good with it. I'm going to learn how to do panels, so that way everybody can just come up, whoever has something to say, and say it. I like panels, so I'll figure that out this week. Hi, Pamela. Good to see you. Is the sound good? I'm just reading comments. Sound is great. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Pam. Pamela. Good, good, good. Good to hear. So I kind of move my lighting around a little bit. Uh, I think it works a little bit better. At least it's not blinding me this time. Oh, yes. Yesterday was Carol Burton's birthday. Happy birthday, Carol. I'm sure you had a wonderful time. You have the best husband ever, so I'm sure he did something special for you. Oh, thank you. My kitty's old, and she hates people except me. She loves me, but she will chase you right out of the house. 
<laughs> she's very mean. She thinks she's a mountain lion. She's really not. How did my freedom journey start? My freedom journey started during TPC. I started watching, I've always watched Oreo. I watched Oreo from way back when he first started and he had Jason. In case anybody didn't know, if you knew Jason, uh, Jason passed away. But I remember when Oreo started and it was him and Jason. And I followed him and I followed him to Oh, that's awesome, Carol. That's awesome. Uh, I knew he would do something special for you. <clears throat> I uh, watched the truckers, and my son and I, unfortunately, were supposed, well, fortunately, well, unfortunately, we're supposed to go on a weekend, but that was a weekend he got sick, so we didn't get to go, so I had to cancel all of that, but I still watched it, and, and I just always wanted to be a part of the freedom movement. Always. And this is probably the best I can get right now. Yeah, it is sad about Jason. He was a good guy. I really liked him. So that's how I got started watching the uh, TPC. And I just loved, I loved what it stood for. I loved the, the people in it. I didn't like the way it ended. <coughs> but that's just how it is. Hi, Gigi. So that's how I got started. And I was, uh, I also, during the riots was, I was a big follower of uh, Portland Andy and a guy named Steve Oatley in uh, uh, the BC Preacher. Uh, I followed all of them all over Portland and a few other ones and watched what was going on. And uh, I was just in shock, very much so shocked that there were actually people in this world that would act like that. Yeah, I keep saying one day I'm going to go down to the vigil. I will get down there eventually. I'm hoping this summer I can get down there. Take our border back. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome, Jerry. That's awesome. I like that. Take our border back also. The Canadian convoy. I was still working when that was going on. Unfortunately, I didn't get to... Uh, see much of that because of working all the time but when the tpc started i was no longer working so i had plenty of time <laughs> and i didn't miss a single one i followed santa mostly and oreo and uh gosh who else wizzy i followed wizzy mostly oreo and santa i never missed a live with santa if he went live, I was there. So that, that was my journey. I haven't left the house since. I haven't been able to go anywhere. I did go to, I take that back, when 1776, the traveling people were in Ohio and they had a little thing. I went to that and I met Sapphire Patriot. I met David. I met Mom Paul. Uh, Ann and Joe and Papa. Wait a minute. No, I didn't. And Kentucky. Yes, Kentucky. I met, I met all those wonderful people. And that was, that was fun. I loved doing that. And I did just got me where I wanted to do more and more and more. And I couldn't because I had to have this surgery first, but now I'm ready. I'm good. <laughs> It was nice, Sapphire. It was beautiful. I, I didn't want to leave. I just seemed like it went too fast. Jerry, San, Santa is an awesome guy. I don't care what people, they have negative things to say, but that's okay. They can say it. He's a good guy. Wonderful man. And his mom is wonderful too. Yes, thank you, Canada, for getting us fired up. I kind of heard something through the grapevine that Canada was getting ready April 1st to do something again. So we'll see what happens with that. I don't have any proof, but. Ah, uh, I wish I could. I got too much, too much going on, Sapphire. I've got, I haven't told a whole lot of people this, but 
when I had to have uh, open heart surgery, I had to have a complete body scan and they found a tumor on my left kidney and it's renal cell carcinoma. So I have to go in July, I believe it is, and to a urologist and he'll decide if he's going to, he gave me three options, cut it out, cut part of the kidney or cut the whole kidney, which is totally ridiculous. I would never do that or do ablation. Ablation is where they go in there and they burn it or they freeze it. Either way, it will probably come back. If they cut part of it out, it won't come back because I mean, it's not a guarantee. There's never a guarantee that it won't come back. I just don't want to get cut. I would just as soon do the ablation and be done with it. And if I've got another five years, I'm good. And it's not a big tumor. It's the size of, uh, I think he said, an eraser or a pen. Uh, yeah, an eraser or a, a little green pea. It's not very big. At least not last year it wasn't. And I go back in July to find out if it's grown any. And it's a very slow growing cancer. Very slow. So I kind of got to stick around here for that. And then I'm going to have my leg bypass the arteries on my legs because they're not good. I have horrible arteries. So he's going to put a different artery in. So that way I'll be able to walk longer and it won't, it won't cut off this, the blood flow to my leg, just my left leg. My right leg's fine. It's only my left leg. So once that's done and the, the other one's done, I'm good to go. I can go anywhere I want. <laughs> so Everybody's like, uh-oh, now what's going to happen? I'm not worried. Just like with open heart surgery, I was not afraid one single bit. My kids were like, oh, mom, oh, mom. I'm, so, I'm like, don't be afraid because the man upstairs has got me. He didn't bring me this far through everything I've been through in my entire life to let me go now. It's not time. I know that he's going to protect me. Yeah, ablation is exactly what I'm, I've chosen to do for the kidney. So anyway, yeah, once that's all done and I'm a free woman, I'm going to get me a camper and a pickup truck. I'm not even going to have to pay rent anywhere other than a campground. That was supposed to be my retirement anyway, and I never got to because I got sick. Oh yeah, I want to go the right way, Kim. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want no more surgeries. The leg, I can't get past that. I've been putting it off for five years and it's time now. He said it's time. So especially since they took the saphious vein out of my left leg and used it for my heart. So they took a good vein and left me with all bad veins. And they had to, of course, take that one because it was the better vein. So now I definitely, he said, you have to do it. Oh, I know, Sherry. I can't wait neither. That weekend is going to be awesome. I'm in Ohio. I want to do... I, Sherry, have you heard about Big D meeting in Mansfield, Ohio and riding down to Mount Gilead? I would love to do that. Uh, Mansfield's not that far from my house either. I'm kind of like in between both of them. Convoy to, to the Mount Gilead. You want to do that, Sherry? Think about it. You don't have to answer now. We can, uh, I can drive. You can leave your vehicle at my house if you choose. And, and we can drive over to Mansfield, hit, get in with the convoy, and then drive to Mount Gilead. It's nice, all these small towns around here. <laughs> How many people are going to the rally in, uh, oh, awesome, Sherry. Awesome. That'd be fun. Going to the rally in Ohio, in Mount Gilead, Ohio. It's three days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be fun. I hear they're going to have a huge tent with a church services for everybody. Uh, all kinds of different. They're going to have speakers. They're going to have food. Yay, Carol. And Jerry, where do you live at? Do you live in Ohio? I must have missed that. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Jerry, that would be great. I would love to see you, too. Oh, everybody's going. It's awesome. 
It's going to be a good time. I hope Mags and Faith go. Oh, you're in Houston, Pamela. Yeah, that's a long ride. Jerry's in Maryland. Oh, I don't know how far that is. Ohio definitely has a lot of patriots. We call this redneck country. <laughs> it's worse than northern Florida, and I thought northern Florida was bad. Awesome, Jerry. It's going to be a good time. Carol's going. Jerry's going. Uh, I'm going. Sherry's going. Big D's going. Hippie Mama's going. Um, Sapphire Patriot's going. Of course, we're going together. Uh, I can't camp. I would love to camp, but I went to that uh, play the other night and... Uh, are you, Cora, are you going to go, Northwest Ohio? I'm sure there's somebody out that way that could get, you could hitch a ride with and share. Uh, I went to that play the other night, and let me tell you, I can't, those chairs, I'm not very big. I'm like four foot nine, four foot eight, whatever. I'm going to say nine. And those chairs were made for people with long legs. My legs went to sleep. They were hurting. My back was hurting. I could not wait till it was over so I could stand up. And I left a few minutes early because I wanted to hit the bathroom for anybody else did. But let me tell you, my legs were, my left leg was so swollen from uh, sitting like that. It's horrible. Oh, I'm sorry, Cora. We'll miss you. Hi, Thomas. I'm excited about going, Sherry. We're going to have a good time. I heard there's going to be all kinds of different food trucks there and things like that. I'm not, I haven't really read the whole thing. Just things I hear people talk about. Carol Burton probably knows more about it. Oh, yeah. Jay Jones, Lady Buckeye, Joe Nagy. Awesome. Glory B. Woohoo. Okay, Sherry. I wonder if Jericho's going. Anybody know if Jericho's going? Well, whoever can go, it's great. Um, it'll be nice to see everybody and meet everybody. Make sure you hit the like button, guys. I don't know how long I'm going to be on. I just kind of wanted to get on and chit-chat with everybody. and I, I'm going to work on a panel. Uh, oh, Columbus. <laughs> That's a long ways. That's about an hour or so away from, well, it's in Columbus airport's an hour from me. We don't have airports. We have Columbus and Cleveland, Toledo, but I don't, oh, wait a minute. Carol, don't they have an airport in Akron, Canton? That would be closer than Columbus, I believe, I think. In Mount Gilead, Thomas, Mount Gilead, Ohio is a freedom festival. July 26th. 7th, 28th, or 26th, 27th, and some, the last, the last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in July. I can't remember. I don't have the flyer right here. Kim, if you have that flyer, can you post it or? I don't have it, so I don't really know. I know it's the last Thursday, Friday, Saturday of July in Mount Gilead, Ohio, very small town. Hey, Matt. Is this Matt or Jay Lynn? Hi, Mags. It's me doing my thing, acting like an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. I like to have a good time. I'm stupid sometimes. My kids say I embarrass them, but I do that on purpose. Yeah. It's fun when your kids are older. It's fun to do it when they're teenagers, but it's even more fun when they're older. Okay, 25th through the 27th. Thank you, Kim. Are you going to that one, Thomas? That's awesome. Mags, are you and Faith going to uh, the Freedom Festival? Yay, go Faith. All right. Let me see. Matt, are you and, are you and Jay Lynn going to the festival in uh, Ohio, Mount Gillian? Faith's better at everything. Faith is the best. 
She's the best producer. She's the best bowler. Oh, I hope so, Matt. That would be great. Hi, English Rose. You did catch a lot. Nice to see you. Hi, Two Finger. Oh, that's right, Mags. I remember Faith said you guys had something already planned. Well, what a bummer. But that's all right. We'll 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 catch up another time. We're going to have a good time. Lots of folks going to be there. I'm excited. I can't wait. And I love it because it's only 30 minutes from my house. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to camp. I can come home in my bed, take a shower. <laughs> I couldn't camp right now if I wanted to. Well, now that, uh, we know a lot of people is going, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. By then, maybe I'll know how to stream with this gimbal. I don't know. <laughs> it's good as long as it's sitting down, but if I start moving, I'm afraid it's going to do what it did the other day when I was live streaming. I don't I don't know what I did. Oh, I know. Kim said that's what it was. The battery died because I didn't charge it because I'm an idiot. Number one lesson, when you go out live streaming, make sure your equipment's charged. I didn't. I just plugged it in and off I went. Mm, yeah, well, mine did that day anyway. That was horrible. I was trying to show all the murals around town, and then the stupid thing just got crazy. And, and I'm so short. Like, normal people can hold their their phone up and video. My, my arms are not very long, so I don't get to get it up there far enough. So I'm like, well, that looks stupid. Eh, sometimes I am, Kim. <laughs> So I thought maybe if I got a selfie stick for when the, if the gimbal ever dies, I could use that. That would probably work, but then I couldn't see anybody. I don't know. I don't know. I have to keep trying to figure stuff out. As long as I do this, I'm okay. But when you're four foot nine, it's kind of hard to do anything. Hi, Priscilla. Good to see you. Thank you, Carol. At least it'll be warm, and I hope it don't rain that day. I don't like rain. Usually in July, it doesn't rain. Not too much. When the Bratwurst Festival comes, that's when it rains. In the fair, that's when it rains. Yeah, you know what, Kim? I just thought about that. It wouldn't be stable, would it? Maybe, can you get extensions on your... Oh, well, that wouldn't work either. Never mind. I'll figure something out. I'll make sure I keep my gimbal charged. <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do. So anybody got any plans for tomorrow? It is Easter tomorrow. If anybody wants to see the play that I went and saw um, Thursday night, it's called the... Hold on, let me get it. Let me get my paper. It is called North Central Ohio Passion Play. You can find that on YouTube. I tried to go through the church, but they're not leaving it up. They just have it live between 7 and 9, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And that's during the vigil time. So I did find it on YouTube that you could. So it's the North Central Ohio Passion Play on YouTube. No, I need to get a battery pack. I don't have one. I need, I need a... I need, definitely need to get one. Hey, there's, I have a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, oh my gosh. I have an Amazon wish list if anybody wants to go look at it, if Kim could put it up, if she has it. If, I can always send it to you, Kim. Or Sherry, either one. Are Sherry back? Did she get back? 
Yeah, I definitely, I know I need one to keep things charged, but I don't have one. Just, just the home is all I have. Okay, I'll text it to you. Hold on, guys. There you go. Okay, Carol, that's great. That's good. All right. Welcome, or come back again, Pamela. Thank you for coming in. I'm going to try to do more of them, and then my studio should be ready. Oh, my nephew's leaving Wednesday, so I'm saying sometime within the next week, week and a half, I'll have it ready. I got to get all my gator stuff out of there and on the walls and put my flags up and things like that. I didn't do it while he was there. I did a few things, but not much. And I got to get that big bed out of there and make it for real look decent. So, yeah. So, if you want to see the play, I and I recommend everybody watch it. It was, it, it was over 200 actors, and they had a... Uh, a, a whole symphony there. It was great. It was amazing. North Central Ohio Passion Play. Amazing. Um, I probably will, Nina. I don't have... only flag I have is... Well, they're not even up right now. It's my American flag and my Christian flag that I hang on my flagpole out in the yard. But I took them down because, well, the... Christian flag got all tore up with the wind and the flagpole's leaning over because of the wind so we gotta redo it and put more concrete in it and so I will need some flags um yeah I'll send it to you Kim let me see let's see copied the link Okay. Welcome back, Jerry. Yeah, I have no flags. I did have flags, but I retired them last summer when I got my new flag from the VFW. So I'm going to have to go up there and retire this flag and get another one. For, I have a huge flagpole in my yard, but for some reason, it's like there's a wind tunnel that runs right through it. Because I used to hang my flags on my house, but as soon as it got windy out, the, they were, you know, the little metal flag holders would just be all bent and the flag would be on the ground. So now, my neighbor, when I was having open heart surgery, made me his 20-foot flagpole. But me and my net or my nephew planted it into the ground, but he didn't put enough concrete in it. And as soon as that wind kicked up to 40, 50 miles an hour, that flagpole just started leaning. And the flags were all tore up, so I just brought them in. I'll take the American flag up and retire it. So it's so nice that everybody came in to chit-chat with me. I do appreciate it. I would like to do more. I'd like to learn how to do panels, but for some reason I can't figure it out. There's all kinds of videos on it, but I think it's because you have to go through your, use your laptop or computer, and my laptop is not working. It's going to the, the get fix. I don't know what's wrong with it. And it's new. I don't, I haven't used it very often. My son got it for me, and then I didn't use it because I couldn't get used to it. And uh, then I, when I started doing this, I thought, oh, I'm just going to turn my laptop on. Well, it keeps shutting down on me. It keeps saying I don't have enough room. And I went and bought this thing right here. It says one terabyte 
of extra space and it still says it, it shuts down so they don't have room. Maybe I don't have, I just plugged it in. It might not be showing up. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. So I'm going to take it into the shop and let the, the guys do it, to know what they're doing. And hopefully they don't charge me an arm and a leg, but I don't think they will. So where's everybody from? How many people in here are from Ohio? Let's do it that way. Are we coloring Easter eggs for our grandchildren or children? I miss doing that. I don't have nobody here. Hi, Nina. If I didn't say hi to you already, I don't remember. You have to excuse me. I'm old. <laughs> That's what I tell my kids. So my daughter made me that gator watermark. She's very artistic. I'm not. But now I don't know how to put it on my lives. I don't know if I don't I don't know if I have to do all that through a computer or what. It is a laptop. It is a HP laptop. And also, I found out as I was trying to fix it myself that for some reason, HP starts all their laptops in safe mode. Why is that? I've never heard of such. <laughs> wow, Jerry, really? <laughs> That's crazy. Cora's a Buckeye. Hi, bite, bite, bit, bite. Hagerstown. You know how Trooper always puts out little sayings about North Dakota? Yeah, me too, Nina, me too. Uh, I always put the same one out about Ohio. I always say Ohio, Texas, Florida, and Alabama because those are the three places, the four places. I was born in Ohio, but I spent more time in those states than I have Ohio. So I do them all, but I always say Ohio, home of the useless nut, the Buckeye. <laughs> oh, were you Jerry? Cool. I love Alabama. Although I didn't like all the tornadoes, that's scary. I was worried and I was staying with some friends there and a tornado, all the sirens were going off and I called my friend, and I'm like, what are you guys doing? There's a tornado. And they're like, oh, we're at the bar having a tornado party. I'm like, oh, my gosh, you guys are crazy. I was scared. I was crying. Yeah, it was insane. So I couldn't wait to get out of there and get back to Florida. I never go back. Now, I did. That was in Talladega. I did go to Gunnersville. Gunnersville is a beautiful city. I like Gunnersville. But I didn't like Talladega. Born and raised in Ohio, we. I was born and almost raised all the way in Ohio. Uh, well, I can't say that because my dad was in the Navy, so I lived in California, San Diego, uh, Virginia, Maryland, all when I was a little kid growing up because my dad was in the Navy. Frostburg. I never heard of Frostburg. I think my favorite state I lived in would have to be Texas. I loved Texas. Texas was awesome. After I got divorced, I took my 401k and I had a conversion van and my kids, of course, are all grown and I uh, loaded it up and took off. And I went from Ohio to Oregon tra or to uh, Washington State, traveled all the way down the coast to Florida or California and then went over across through Louisiana and Mississippi, went to Texas, went to Florida, K 
came back to Ohio and said, okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna live at. And I went back to Texas and I lived there for five years. And then my kids kept begging me to come home. Hi, Nova, how are you? Thank you for coming in. So I'm kind of like a, I like to go places, do things. So, and I've been divorced since 99 and I like it. It's very good. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. <laughs> not saying anything bad about guys, but they're, it's just not, I just didn't care for it. I was married for 18 years and we got divorced and I haven't dated or anything. I'm good. Some people are good at it. Some people aren't. I don't, I don't, I'm not a needy person. I can take care of myself. Hey Amen. That's right, Kim. Yeah. Hi, Annette. Welcome to chat. It's good to have you here. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I have nothing against men. Most of my friends are man, men. As a matter of fact, my favorite, my best friend in the whole wide world is a, a man. And he's a police officer in Texas. And I just love him to death. And, uh, but to live with them and for me anyway I had to work I had to cook I had to clean do their laundry listen to them complain go where they wanted to go and once I got that freedom I'm like whoa yeah I'm good I do what I want no questions asked I don't have to worry about hurting nobody's feelings and I probably wasn't the best wife either but I uh I remember one time we lived in Florida and I, I wanted to come back to Ohio because I missed my my husband's mom. I loved that woman to death. And I told him uh, one day, I said, hey, I think I'm going to go home, you know, for like a week, get my tag for my car and go see mom. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, you're not. And I'm like, what? He's like, no, you're not. And I'm like, are you telling me I can't go? He's like, I'm like that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm like, all right. So the next day on the way to work, I stopped at the travel agent and I bought a ticket to Ohio for two weeks and we're eating dinner. And I said, oh yeah, by the way, you're right. I am not going to Ohio for a week. He goes, oh, I know you're not. And uh, I said, I put the ticket on the table and I said, I'm going for two weeks. He said, I can't believe you. I said, I can't believe you would tell me I can't do something. So he never did that again. <laughs> oh, you got your voter registration card today? That's nice. Yeah, nobody tells me what to do. And and I'm not, I mean, if I'm going to hurt, I don't want to hurt somebody. And so that's not what I mean. I just mean, just because you're married to somebody does not mean they own you. I had a dad once. Exactly, Carol. Exactly. Yeah, so. I'm very independent. I can do, I never ask for help. I do it myself. I will do it myself before I ask for help. And I know that's insane. My son would get so aggravated with me because, and my grandson does now, because he'll come over and he's like, Grandma, what are you doing? I'm like, Joe, it's got to get done. Well, why don't you ask somebody? I'm like, because you're busy, you're 23, you don't want to come hang out at your grandma's. My other daughter, Nicole, Nikki, she's busy. My other daughter lives in Tennessee, so I just do, I just, I'll get it done eventually. I know how to change oil, I know how to change tires, I know how to change plugs, I know how to change the wires, I know how to change the oil and put a new starter and plugs in my lawnmower, but I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah exactly no me too i don't cook if i don't want to and i don't have dishes it's nice i cook like i cook for my grandson for his birthday I always cook birthday dinners for people and uh i uh i'm not cooking tomorrow i probably won't even go anywhere tomorrow my nephew's gonna be gone so 
I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to lay around and watch TLC all day. <laughs> That's my plan. I'll do the Freedom Corner and Mags if he's on Sunday night, and I'll be good. Well, you know, Kim, you know what's funny? My grandson, he, he'll come over here and... and He'll say, Grandma, do you need something done? I'm like, oh, not really. And he'll be like, oh, I think I need to tighten up them chairs. He says, you got a screwdriver? If not, I got some in my Jeep. And I pull out my toolbox. And he's like, dang, Grandma, you got more tools than I do. I said, yeah, I'm always prepared, buddy. <laughs> oh, Lee, my husband's never, ever cooked. They would sit around and starve to death all day long, waiting for me to come home from work to feed them unbelievable i'm like are you kidding me you couldn't get up and make something to eat no i can't are you going to do my laundry i don't have nothing left to wear and mind you i work 12 days or 12 hours a day seven days a week for months and months at a time so i got no day off so i had to hurry up and get all that done and of course when my kids were at home they they did they did their own laundry and they cooked and did the dishes but then when they moved out then it was all up to me and I kind of didn't really, I kind of thought, you know what, dude, you got, you don't, you know, you work eight hours. I work 12 and you get Saturday and Sunday off. I don't. So it's time for you to start taking care of yourself. So maybe that's what he didn't like. He didn't have nobody to wait on him. Yeah, I, I don't mind cleaning up dishes if you want to cook. That's fine. But now it's just me, so I don't even cook. My, my meals consist of, unless I'm cooking for a birthday, you know, dinner or something for somebody, is a, a turkey burger and maybe some Brussels sprouts or broccoli or cabbage or something. That's all I eat. I don't eat nothing else. So, that's crazy. But it's healthy and I'm trying to stay healthy. So, I mean, I'd love to have a big juicy burger, trust me. Real burger, not a turkey burger, but got to stay right. No, I haven't. I'm telling you what. Now, I used to cook Sunday when I first came back from Florida because I hadn't been around my kids in years, the two that are here. And uh, I cooked Sunday dinners every Sunday. Every Sunday. So, and now I don't even do that now with, you know, my daughter's with, with her, not husband, but whatever you want to call him, live in, boyfriend, whatever. So there, that she cooks for him, and my son, you know, he's gone. And my grandson, he's 23. He's not going to come over here at my house and hang out. He goes to his girlfriends or runs with his buddies, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. So, and my granddaughter, she's 14, but she lives in t Tennessee, so I don't see them that often. So it's just me. Well, my nephew's here right now, and the story behind that is he's 30. He's tw He was 29 when he came. And he was addicted to, I don't know, some kind of drug in Florida. He couldn't get away from it. So my sister calls and she asked me, could he come up here and stay with me for, till he was ready to come home. And I said, well, there'll be no drugs and he's got to get a job. And uh, she said, well, he wants help. He wants to, he told me he's got to get out of Florida away from here or he's going to be dead. So, I let him stay and his year was his it's been a year he hasn't done any drugs he works all the time he uh, it's been a year it's been about a year and a week so he's leaving and going home next week so and I just pray everybody keep him in your prayer that he stays away from the people he hung out with before and he says he's he likes his life now he's got weight on him so I just pray that he stays that way also he is uh he has cystic fibrosis so he's always been super thin but now he looks good he went he went from like 104 pounds to 130 pounds so he looks really good and i just pray that he stays that way and stays away from those people that used to be his friends and i couldn't say no to him i mean he needed help and so yes my nephew definitely needs prayer. I just pray for God to give him strength. And he, But he said he's staying away from all of it. Hey, ABD. Nice to see you. 
Nice to see ya. I still haven't quite figured everything out, but I'll get there. So, like I said, I just like to help people that need help. And normally I don't, I don't do the, the drug people, but that was my nephew and he was reaching out to me for help and he couldn't get help down there. So I said, sure. And he's done everything he said he would do. So I'm proud of him. Oh, Christy B, thank you. I just try to help everybody. I just know with me growing up, there was no help. You didn't get help. And I remember when my parents divorced and it didn't matter. I still love my mom and dad, no matter what. I didn't like my, I didn't love my stepdads, but I love my mom and my real dad. And when my parents got divorced, it broke my heart. I was nine years old and I did not see my dad again until I was 18, I think it was 18. I was over 18 and he called me and I hung up on him because I thought it was a joke. I thought, and then he called back and he said, please don't hang up on me. And then I talked to him. He came to Ohio and uh, we had a long talk and all the stories my mom told me were a complete lie. None of that happened. She just told me he didn't love us anymore and he was going away and he'd never be back and we'd never see him again, blah, blah, blah. And you hear that for nine years of your life, you believe it. But then when I talked to my dad and met him face to face again after, you know, nine years, 10 years, then I knew that he was a good guy. He's married, has another child, two kids, and they don't go through what my mom said he did. Now, yeah, they did fight. They both drank, absolutely. But he was nothing. She blamed it all on him. And so my dad and I loved him and I loved my mom and I used to cry every single night. When I'd go to bed, I would cry. And for my dad, not for my mom, for my dad. I wanted my, I was a daddy's girl, always was. My dad never, ever spanked any of us kids, ever. My mom did, she beat us, but my, my, my dad never would. He just wouldn't do it, so. But I still love my parents and that's the thing with kids today, they don't understand when you, they take you away from your parents and they split you up. That is a shock for a child because you think, I mean, for me, I would go to bed at night and think, oh, what's gonna happen to us? Are these people gonna hurt us? What are they doing to us? And blah, 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 you know? You just don't understand it all happens so fast. And I'd like to be the one to be there to teach, to tell the kids, hey, it's okay, it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Just be concerned for them. The addiction is bad. And his addiction was to a synthetic drug called Anna. So they make it at home and you smoke it apparently and you get totally addicted to it. And that's what he was doing. And he would get, he still worked, but his whole paycheck went to it. His whole paycheck every week went to the drug. He had a car, he lost it, he lost weight, his teeth were all messed up. He just looked horrific and finally he just got tired of it, thank God. And he went to church, he goes to church with me and he hadn't been in church since he was a little kid. So I think he's on the right path. My mom wasn't a drug addict, thank God. She was a major alcoholic though. I mean, my mom would get up in the morning and have one cup of coffee, pop open the beer and that's what she would drink. She never drank whiskey or anything, just beer. Oh no, Carrie, your iPhone died. Oh, I better make sure. Oh, I better plug mine in before it dies. I don't think mine's going to die. Oh, I got to plug mine in. No, it's all right. Uh, yeah, so I don't... To me, kids are first. They should be first in a parent's life. When you have a child, you put your life on hold until that child is grown. That's just what I did with my kids. I never, I didn't even have to spank my kids. All I had to do was give them a look. Well, oh yeah, Jerry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jerry. I remember you telling me that story. That's too bad. I have a lot of people in my family that are alcoholics and drug addicts. 
Not me or my sister. Most there's three of them that are alcoholics, and a couple of them that are the alcoholics are also drug addicts. And it may sound cruel, but I don't have no use for them. If you grow up like that, why you got to be like that? Why you got to treat your child like that? I don't have no use for them. But that's just me. I still love them. But oh, Jerry, really? Four years next month? That's crazy. I'm so sorry. The big hug for you. We can all give each other hugs when we get to. Matt Gilead, or even Mansfield, either one. And Kim, big hugs to Kim. Wow, everybody, how many people we have in here? Did everybody hit the thumbs up and likes and all that good stuff? Let me see something here. I'm telling you, we're going to get a panel. If it's the last thing I do, we're going to get a panel. I want us to be able to talk. And the panel, I want, I don't want, I want the panel, I want you guys to talk. I want you guys to give suggestions on what you think might work or what will work in your community. That's what I want to do. And once I get the, 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 whatever it's called, the whatever. See, that's what happens when you have a stroke. You forget things, what things are called. I do it all the time. Uh, the office, whatever it's called. Uh, once I get that set up and I don't have to be out here in the living room, it'll be totally different. We can do lives. We can do panels. We can do all kinds of things. And then some days we can just have fun and maybe play a couple games. Or And ABD knows about all the games you can play, the trivia and things like that <coughs> so that would be fun too we don't always have to talk about that but we can talk about other things too whatever you guys want to talk about somebody has something they need to talk about we can talk about it. this is the place to do it open forum here that's what i would like that's me that's what i would like because we can go like, I have my favorites that I watch, and that's fine. Everybody has their favorites. I've I've watched Mags. Mags is my favorite. Uh, Sapphire Patriot's my favorite. Oreo. I haven't watched Oreo for a while. Uh, I catch Matt every now and then and Jay Lynn, but it's usually because they're on at times that I'm, I'm either watching the vigil or I'm watching Mags and... I try to hit, you know, I try to hit everybody. Hi, hi game, K9 Gaming. All right, Kim, go enjoy yourself for Easter. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, I, same here, Carol. Happy Easter, Kim. Uh, same here, Carol. I don't like the drama. Uh, my mods know, get rid of them. You get, if you're not a normal troll, but if you're one that we recognize, you're out. You don't even get a chance. If you're not a normal troll, you're just trying to fit in, you know, or feel, catch and see what you can get away with, you get two strikes. Third time, you go to the swamp bucket in the bottom. Not There will be no, no drama. Everybody has a voice. Everybody, I mean, as far as drama goes, no name calling. No coming in saying like, oh, well, I thought so-and-so was in Thailand. And, oh, what's he doing over there ripping? You know, things like that we're not going to have. Not going to have. You got something to say, that's fine. That's just the way I, I want to have fun. I want to. I want it to be a good place to come to that people don't come here for drama. Yeah, me too, Christy B. You know, I need to go over to English Roses too. There's a lot of people that I just don't go to. I'm just, well, I if it's in the afternoon, I'm, I work out three, three hours every day, Monday through Thursday. Have fun, Kim. Enjoy your Easter dinner. Ooh, that sounds good. I may have to see what my grandson's doing tomorrow and maybe go to dinner. Mmm, yeah. I can't have any of it, but it would be good. 
Yeah, so, all right, I'm going to, we got six minutes, it'll be an hour, and then we'll, I'm hoping by the next time I go live, I'm going to do shorts, that much I'm, I'm going to do. I couldn't get outside today because it's been raining all day, and I don't know what tomorrow is going to do. I may do some shorts tomorrow, but I'm just going to keep doing shorts until I get my hours built up, but I'm also going to uh, do uh, panels. I think panels would be good that we can talk about things and get to know one another and then do a game, you know, pick a game time for a few different kinds of games. ABD knows all about the games because she plays them on her channel. Uh, so I think that would be great for all of us to do that, get to know each other, make plans. Uh, the, the Ohio rally is coming up. That's going to be a fun time. We can really get to know each other and, I think that'll be great for all of us. I know I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. I just want to thank everybody for coming in. Oh, sorry, allergies. I just want to thank everybody for coming in and joining me today. Uh, I would like to say a prayer before we leave. And uh, then we'll sign off for the day and... Everybody have a happy Easter. Father God, we come to you today. We love you and we praise you. We thank you for your son, Lord. We thank you for sending him for us, for our salvation, Lord. Without him, we would not have salvation. And we thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that everybody on this life has a wonderful, peaceful Easter, Lord. I pray that they all Tell their families what Easter is about. I pray that those who don't have food to eat on Easter, Lord, will have food. I pray for them. I pray for the evil ones in the world, Lord, that they will turn to you and seek salvation. I pray for our J6ers, Lord, that their Easter will be great. And this will be their last Easter in the Gulag, Lord. I pray for them to be released as soon as you see fit, O oh, Father God. We love you. And we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, I'm out. Um, thank you all for coming in. Have a happy Easter. I love you all. Um, and we will be live again soon. Soon. So, peace and love. Oh, I see. I always mess it up. Peace and love. Happy Easter. God bless.